What's up YouTube? Welcome to iIrvin TV here with another video for y'all and today I will be talking about Star Wars Celebration and all the amazing things Lucasfilms revealed to us. But before I get started, for anyone that just stumbled across this video or my channel, I'm currently on the road to 100 subscribers. So if you like what you see, go ahead and press the subscribe button and press that bell so that way you can get the latest videos for me as well. So let's get started. For those that don't know, I'm a huge Star Wars fan and Celebration is where fans across the world gather and just enjoy everything Star Wars. Unfortunately, I wasn't there but I did manage to catch a lot of it on live stream. On day one, the cast of episode 9 got on stage for the episode 9 panel where at the end they not only showed the trailer but revealed the title as well which is The Rise of Skywalker. Which does brings a lot of questions since Kylo is the only known living Skywalker. That and Leia based off the trailer which does bring emotion seeing the late Carrie Fisher on the screen. Also in the trailer you see Rey's lightsaber rebuilt as her last one which belonged to Anakin and Luke before her was destroyed in The Last Jedi. It does look very similar but there are some minor differences to it. Another exciting moment, Lando Calrissian will be in the movie as well played by no other than Lando himself Billy D Williams and it looks like he will be flying the legendary Millennium Falcon as well also some other facts about the rise of Skywalker is that it will be taking place one year after the last Jedi which is following Star Wars norm as usually the movies other than the last Jedi has time gaps between them and lastly the most exciting is at the end where pieces of the second Death Star were shown in the sea indicating Endor might be making an appearance but not only that after that was shown the screen went blank and all you heard was the laugh of the Emperor and when the trailer was over, standing on the stage was Ian McDermott, actor of The Emperor. This means there's a large possibility that Sidious may be returning in some shape or form. This makes a lot of sense as in Legends he did come back to life for a brief moment using clones and transferring his spirit into these clones. I really can't wait till December for the movie comes out as you know Lucasfilms keeps everything on hush hush leaving everything to speculation and fan theories. Next up is the live action TV show The Mandalorian. The teaser wasn't shown through the stream but they did show it to the audience attending the panel and a few members did manage to record it so I was able to see it and I was not disappointed at all. It looked very good, seems very gritty and it feels a bit like a classic western movie. It takes place after the fall of the empire but before the rise of the first order. There isn't any details on the story yet though it does follow a bounty hunter only known as the Mandalorian currently who is shown sporting the famous Mandalorian armor. It's going to be featured on Disney's new streaming service Disney Plus available on November the 12th. The first season is going to have 8 episodes. The series is directed by John Farrell who directed the first two Iron Man movies and the new Lion King movie and is going to be executively produced by the genes behind the Clone Wars and Rebels Dave Filoni. Speaking of Dave Filoni and I'm not really going in order here, he also showcased some pretty cool stuff during the Clone Wars panel. As you know, right before the Disney purchase, Clone Wars ended earlier than planned after season 5. Then of course season 6 was made available on Netflix afterwards. Then last year during Comic Con it was announced that the Clone Wars was returning which I spoke about in a video before. And on the panel Dave showed us a trailer and it was mind blowing. It showed Ahsoka going to the lower levels of Coruscant after leaving the Jedi Order at the end of Season 5. But then it also shows her coming back to help Anakin and the rest of the 501st on a mission. And during this you see Captain Rex and the rest of the troops salute her. As well as painting their helmets as Ahsoka out of respect. Which, no lie, was very emotional. You also have the appearance of Clone Force 99 who became very popular after some unfinished episodes were released showing off this elite clone squadron. You also see that Ahsoka gets her lightsabers back but this time they are blue instead of the green one she originally had. Dave also mentioned that they brought along Ray Parks, the actor who originally played Darth Maul in The Phantom Menace to do some motion capture so the fights can look more realistic. Speaking of Darth Maul, at the end of the trailer you also see 
Maul makes his return as the last time we saw him it was with his duel with Sidious and after losing the duel along with Sidious killing his brother Savage, Sidious captured Maul. This will be the last season which will also be on Disney Plus as well with 12 episodes. I'm very excited for this as it seems like the Clone Wars will finally be getting the end it deserves. The next thing they showed us was the new upcoming Star Wars video game, Jedi Fallen Order, which is being developed by Respawn, the makers of Titanfall and Apex Legends. Last year during E3 they only announced the title, but this time they showed us a trailer, worth the wait. It introduced the main character, Kyle Kestis, who was a Jedi Padawan before Order 66. It also introduced a new joy, BD-1 who will be alongside Kyle. It shows Kyle trying to lay low and avoid the Empire as they're trying to hunt down the remaining Jedi in the galaxy. He does get spotted after appearing to get caught using the force to save his friend. Towards the end, you actually see a Sith Inquisitor which looks like the second sister from the Vader comic books attempted to hunt him down. No gameplay was shown yet, though we could be getting that during E3 this year. I'm not complaining though, as this was much more than we got last year. According to the developers, this will be a single player, third person action adventure game, with fast paced fighting and of course the ability to use force powers. And the funny thing is that during the panel, it was announced that there will be no microtransactions, referring to the controversy surrounding the release of Battlefront 2, and even EA backed this statement up. The game will be released on November the 15th, a couple days after Disney Plus, so it looks like the holidays will be the time for Star Wars. Last but not least, we have Galaxy Edge, which is the Star Wars theme parks coming to Disneyland in California and Disney World at Florida. It's supposed to have an authentic Star Wars feel to it. All the shops, restaurants, and even the hotels are supposed to make you feel like you're in the Star Wars universe. The parks were built based off a of planet named Bot 2, which made its debut in the Thrawn Alliance book. It was a trading post that sat on the edge of the Outer Rim, which later became a port for smugglers and people traveling outside the Outer Rim. The parks were announced back in 2015, but now we got more details. They talked about some of the attractions there, such as the Millennium Falcon, Smuggler's Run, which is a simulator where you can pilot the Falcon, and the Rise of the Resistance, a ride where you're actually participating in the battle between the Resistance and the First Order. They also announced that Hondo, who was a pirate from the Clone Wars and Rebels, will be making an appearance as an animatronics figure voiced by the original voice actor, Jim Cummins. They also revealed that the music for the park was done none other than the man behind the music of Star Wars, the legendary John Williams. Disneyland will be opening their park on May 31st, while Disney World will be opening theirs on August the 29th. Me personally, when the money is right, I will be going to the one in California as I always wanted to go to Cali. I could go to Florida, which is closer to me, but now this is my excuse to go to California and spend so much money while I'm over there. That's everything I have as far as celebration goes. There were a lot more things that were talked about that would take forever for me to cover, but those were the main things that stuck out to me the most. And now we're at the end of the video. If you like this video, go ahead and press the like button. If you dislike this video, hopefully you didn't, but if you did dislike this video, Go ahead and press the dislike button because I always appreciate honesty. Drop a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, promoting peace, gaming, and wings.